Anyway. I will have to check that out, definitely. <clears throat> but yeah, there, uh, 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 given what you just said about it, I'd, I'd have to say that there's been a real darkening and batmaning of uh, well, Sherlock Holmes in the modern age. Well, Holmes, I guess, needed uh, a flaw, and so they put it in there. I mean, uh, Stephen Moffat wrote, wrote that in there because in the original stories, Holmes is just, he wants... He wants to bring reason to the uh, the legal process. He wants to be CSI, is it? Okay. But Stephen Moffat flat out said that uh, his version of Sherlock Holmes is he's a man who wants to be a god. That's a different aspiration. Yeah. How, uh, however, it is a very high and lofty goal to bring le reason and logic to an entire aspect of society where you feel there is none and when those were originally written weren't crime scenes very much less understood like the idea of fingerprints i thought actually came from uh one of the publications of sir but like it had no been used, no not they it they, they use fingerprints they've used fingerprints for a long time it's okay but no uh the idea of blood type Oh. At, and methods to determine whether or not something is rust or is actually human blood. These are things that Holmes brought onto the table that Conan Doyle wrote, and I don't really think he understood what he was doing while he was writing that. Because Conan Doyle may believe in magic and fairies, but he was also a very, very intelligent man. Yeah. Well, fantasy is just a stone's throw away from science fiction, and science fiction has been a fairly accurate determiner of where science goes, or at least in some way embeds itself in the social consciousness to make itself later on. Really? I always thought of science fiction as an inspiration for scientific advancement. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, oh, man. Uh... There was a very uh, well. You can you can point immediately to Star Trek and make the comparison to modern telephones at once. Uh, you you can see we. Uh, it's not a far stretch to say that we could outfit a space station quite a lot like the USS Enterprise at this point, save for food replicators and transporters. We could probably even do a pretty mean holodeck. Uh, I believe there was actually some research put into possibly creating uh, transportation, but uh, they stopped it because it broke several laws of physics. Right. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to have to if we're going to... Traveling at the speed of light is actually, in my estimation, fairly impractical. You oh. would have to... In order to get any use out of it for a human lifespan, you'd need to break the laws of physics somehow. Well, traveling faster than the speed of light is what we'll have to do if we want to reach the stars, because the stars are leaving us at the speed of light. <laughs> I don't know if you you know this, the, the universe is expanding in very strange ways. Yeah, but I didn't think it was all that even. I thought it was kind of a mad cloud dispersing. Uh, it's like an explosion. We're, we're yeah. in the middle of an explosion. Yeah. Um, well, in any case, I, I think traveling faster than the speed of light is possible. If for no other reason than that, people keep saying things are impossible, and then we find ways to do them. <laughs> I, I have faith in human ingenuity. I know oh, yeah. that's, that's probably a little naive of me, but... I really do believe that if you tell a human something's impossible, out of pure spite, they're going to go, nuh-uh, and then yeah. figure it out. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, the idea of a lightsaber is not unfeasible. <laughs> it, oh. wouldn't necessar it wouldn't necessarily be light, it would be a plasma sword, but you could control plasma very effectively with a magnet. You just have to have a really mean-ass heat shield on it. No kidding. Oh, come on. I didn't even... I, I stopped. I stopped. Why are you finding me? 
cops finding me? There, there are no cop cars in this game. I don't know whoever who ke keeps catching me on these on these light problems and these these traffic incidences. It's the Big Brother complex. It's actually a really really subtle uh, commentary on uh, the nanny state going on over in England. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I will come up across a lot of these pictures, and I've been using these pictures of ridiculous car crashes in uh, in Euro Truck Simulator, like cars just flying off into the sky because of the way that you hit them. Yeah. And uh, in Steam, when you go to your library, there's always some random screenshot that the company. Who the developers will put as the background for their game. And for Euro Truck Simulator, every single one of the pictures the developers have picked, the screenshots, have been cars flying off into odd directions and their physics engines breaking under the strain of absurdity. Well, yeah, the, the Skyrim people decided not to fix the bug when the giants hit you into low orbit. Did you ever play Skyrim when it first came out? I, no. I don't know if they patched it yet, but uh, I know for a while they decided not to because people loved it. Yeah, well, there's that. There's also, um, that I guess some developers have a sense of humor. You know the uh, game Battle Block Theater? No. Okay, well, <coughs> I, I, comedy game? <coughs> Not really a comedy game. It, it is a comedy, and it's real fun, and it's very funny, and it's one of those games where you either become the best friends ever when you're playing co-op, or you lose your friendships and become bitter rivals. Oh. Anyway, it, but... I was watching a speedrun from Awesome Games Done Quick this year, and they had the developers watching along with them, with everyone else, and they were breaking the game. <laughs> and they were breaking oh, yeah. the game constantly, and of course they had to because it's a speedrun, and they asked the developers, now that you know about all these bugs, are you going to fix them? And he's like, just that one bug right there, because that one doesn't look fun, but everything else looks pretty fun, so I'm going to leave this in. Nice. Have you ever seen a speed run of Portal? People exploit the fuck out of those. Oh, oh I've seen speed runs of Portal. This <laughs> that crap's hilarious. I've seen people like park themselves on walls while they work out where their next portal is going to be, and I'm like, you can't be there. There's nothing yeah. to stand on. How are you doing that? Because somebody figured it out. <laughs> The really crazy ones are the people who jump backwards, because just through the way it was programmed, uh, jumping backwards is a further jump and actually goes faster than any other type of movement. Hey, I've seen, I've seen some things, man. Because of speedrunners, you you see things that you never thought you'd see. I've, I've seen, uh, oh god, I need to pull apart and get some gas crap. All right, well. Um, I've seen a guy beat Mike Tyson's punch out blindfold. Oh Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I don't know if you call that a speed run, but it was awesome. What what uh I'm uh next time I get paid I'm still gonna have to buy you Bro Force, because Bro Force is built for speed runs. I okay. I don't know anything about Bro Force. I have I have yet to even look up the game on Steam to see what it is. It's just a 2D shooter. It's uh, actually kind of like Terraria where every, just about everything is destroyable or diggable or not usable but you can get it out of your way with bullets. And uh, you are given one of I think 15 or 16 characters such as uh, Rambro or Bronan the Destroyer or Neo Bro or bro hard and it's all these action heroes that uh, each one has a different gun and it's all one hit kill so uh, if you get shot once you die so kinda like Contra <laughs> yes alright that sounds cool it's actually amazing fun you can fly with the Terminator 
you mean the Brominator. Yes. <laughs> Which I guess, actually, if you think about it, Brominator sort of sounds like a broth. <laughs> Brominator brand broth. The beefiest. The yeah. tastiest. There's also Braid and the Brode. Oh. Oh, Nothing. no, no. Don't slow down, guys. Don't slow down. You're gonna get crashed. Uh oh. Shit. Grab, grab. No, 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 no. And if that's the just game. stops. You are all in my way, you peasants. Get out of my way. Bro Force is a game I thought would make quick enemies out of your friends, but it actually doesn't. It just becomes hilarious. Because usually when you die, there's not just you dying, everything else is exploding. Because just about everything explodes. <laughs> so it's Michael Bay, the game? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that actually sounds pretty cool. And there are mech suits! Of course there are. Well, the mech and I'm sure one of them looks like the mech suits from Aliens. Actually, there are aliens in it, but the game is still in alpha. When you buy it, you uh, you get it in its beta version or whatever. Eh, it's, I hate that. It's still playable, and uh, you you can clear through the story mode pretty quickly. Uh, but they have an online workshop for levels and a level editor, so there's just a constant constant stream of new shit coming out. And we'll see. I don't like early access games because I've been burned a couple of times by it. And yeah. The main thing that I'm thinking of is Darkwood. You notice I haven't yeah. done a dark. Well, they changed the game like they, the change they made was a seriously big one. So okay. all of that that work that I did is just gone. Oh. They changed. You're not willing to start over again. I'll wait until it's done. I'm going to wait until it's done before I start playing again. Because the changes they made really are game changers. They changed the very feel of the game. For One good thing about it is when you die, you don't lose your levels anymore. But if I understand it right, mushrooms that you get essence from only show up at night now. Oh, so it's trying to encourage you to run around in the forest at night when you're definitely going to die. Why are these people in my way? Damn it. I try. I try not to crash into them. But they keep pissing me off. Assholes. Yeah. Destroy them. I want to. I want a mod. I've been looking through mods. And I actually haven't found that many. Because I've only just now started looking. And I want a mod that has like... I don't know. Machine guns on the front of my truck. Oh, the Optimus Prime mod. It'd Is be there? perfect. Yeah. European Optimus Prime on a tan uh, on a rampage. If I knew another language, I would say something like transform and roll out in another language, but I don't. So you audience will just have to imagine it. Yay. My imagination, it tingles. <laughs> this doesn't have to be a box. This could be a box. Oh, crap. I can't imagine anything. So are you ready for Fallout 4? Um, I didn't even realize they were doing it. Um, I guess some news came up right around uh, the end of the year that uh, Bethesda was actually moving forward on it. Okay. As long as they don't screw it up. I doubt they'll screw it up. We'll see. When you think about it, Fallout 3 is kind of Skyrim in the post-apocalyptic universe. Nothing wrong with that. No, they did good. They did good. They got the uh, the feel of the humor and the, like, post-apocalyptic ridiculousness. Oh, yeah. Like Moya. There's so much more comedy in the Fallout. I play... Uh, uh, comparing... Fallout to The Elder Scrolls, Fallout wins hands down, if only for the comedy, but I think the gameplay is just... They they somehow managed to hybridize a first-person shooter and a standard RPG, because you can play it either way. Yeah, I'm still not real sure how they were able to do that. The VAT system 
I know people make fun of it, and they should, but it really is a little bit brilliant. That's is totally optional. You don't have to use it. Yeah, I know. That's that's the brilliant part about it. The uh, I have distinct memories of Fallout 2, which hates you and doesn't want you near it. Um, Fallout 2, go through the game at least once with a intelligence of one. Okay. <laughs> it's hilarious. They change all the dialogue just for you. When people, ex <laughs> when people explain things to you, they realize that you do not understand, and then they're just like, oh man, alright, just go kill Bug. Go kill Bug. Bug bad, go kill Bug. <laughs> Me give oh, you man. shiny if you kill Bug. And, that, and is, that is one thing I want in the new Fallout game, is the ability to play a ghoul or a... Uh, Oh, damn An it. idiot. The, the super mutant. Yeah, an idiot super mutant. That would if be If you play fun. super mutant, your intelligence is automatically won. <laughs> and the game is a lot harder. <laughs> I remember in... I think... I think in... Like, real close to the starting town, in Fallout 2, there's this guy called Ugg. And Ugg is really, really stupid. And he wants you to sit, help save these bugs that are used for bug milk. They look like okay. giant. Uh, they look like giant ladybugs. And uh, oh, like the ones from Futurama. You know what? Maybe I'm getting that idea from Futurama. It's hard to tell sometimes. Anyway, when you talk to them, when when you talk to Ugg, and you have like a normal intelligence, like let's say four or five. It's really hard to communicate with Ugg, but you get it from like basic grunts what's actually going on. You're like, okay, he wants you to do this job and, and he'll give you something for it. When you have an intelligence of one, the game changes. Instead, oh yeah, instead, you and Ugg have like a British accent gentlemanly discussion. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, it's just awesome. Just go through Fallout 2 with an intelligence of one. It is, it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh, that. <laughs> oh. That I need to do. Okay, we're getting close to the end of my run here. Okay. Which, okay. honestly, I think, wow, that was actually quite a ways. Um, that was... Are we in Berlin town? Yeah, we are in Berlin town. Yes. East or West? Put your mayonnaise and fries and grab a beer. Ah. I'm gonna... Oh, oh man. Oh man. Okay, no. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, I just crashed into a car. Everything's slowing down. <laughs> wow, I don't know what's going on, but Fraps is having a hard time. <sighs> You'll see it. It's great. I don't know why it's having so much trouble now. It was just went through this whole drive and with no problems. Maybe it's the city itself. I don't know. Did you really go from East Berlin to West Berlin? Because they do have a different power grid and power system, so that might have fucked up the game. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I don't think that's what happened, but all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and end it here, man. Well, that was another casual truck, the first in, like, a long time, now that I think about it. Um, Al, it was a pleasure. Say, say goodnight, Al. Good night, Al. Don't hate me because I don't know anything. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, I'll see everybody else later. Bye-bye.